Who is your favorite Disney villain, Scar? I did the Lion King for my year 6 Leavers play and I managed to get him. It was my first main role I had in a show and it was so much fun in reality, I was probably absolutely shit because I was a primary school kid who had never took acting lessons before and had the hugest insecurities about singing. I would love to play him again now that I'm more experienced. Absolutely adore be prepared. There's so many but Evil Queen is my top villain. I thought she looked so cool in her fancy robes sitting on her peacock throne and demanding Snow White's heart, little me was always rooting for her. Ursula is iconic and has the best villain song, Maleficent is pretty damn cool since she turns into a dragon, Hades was brilliant and Hercules and Dr. Facilier and Princess the Frog was fun. I have two answers for this. Realistically it's Maleficent. She actually scared me as a child. Plus I played way too much Kingdom Hearts not to love her. The sentimental choice is Ursula. I had a relative who looked way too much like her. It became a joke among the family that we hid from her till she died. Now I buy Ursula merch in her memory. I can't decide so you're getting the list. Bill Cipher Gravity Falls. Thrawn Rebels. Darcy Amphibia. Bale and Seow House. King Andreas Amphibia. Mirabelle Weather Zootropolis Zootopia. King Candy Racket Ralph. Edgar the Aristocat. Ponkrell the Clone Wars. I really like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. He just makes sense. Like, he's not even really a villain. He's just a dude who's really strong and really good at hunting, and knows he provides the most for the village. Belle is the crazy one in that scenario I'd c Ursula, but Frollo is an incredibly accurate portrayal of all that he is, corrupt and self-serving religion. I'm surprised Hunchback of Notre Dame hasn't gone through a heavy edit and been vaulted yet. People should own hard copies while they can. I have to go with Jafar. He may not be the most standout against other Disney villains but he does one thing for me that puts him at number one uses a hero's own song against him. That is the ultimate fuck you ha ha. Cruella de Vil from the original storyline. She was quoted saying, more women have been lost to marriage than war and famine combined. I thought it was really insightful, even if it may not be accurate. Dr. Falcier from The Princess and the Frog. The sneaky shadow man and he's got friends on the other side. Plus, the legendary Keith David did his voice. Perfect, M.O. I just watched Maleficent last night with a kid, but you just can't beat Ursula or Joffer for pure joy and being evil. Scar. He actually won in his movie, his plan actually worked he locked down the Pride Land for what, over a decade? Jafar. He's evil, but humanly evil. Without, beyond reason, psychopathy, sociopathy megalomania, sadism, etc. Dr. Fossili cause he's straight up skeevy ass do not pass go do not collect $200 pure horrible evil. Dr. Fossili from Princess and the Frog. Not only was he entertaining, he was also voiced by Keith David, Thanos, Thrawn, and Vader for modern characters. Hook, Prince John, and Hades for classic characters. Thanos, Thrawn, and Vader for modern characters. Hook, Prince John, and Hades for classic characters. Scar from The Lion King? Because I can sympathize with him when he said, I'm surrounded by idiots. I think Scar, just because of how good Be Prepared is. Gaston and he's more honorable mentions. Gaston. He is just so cool. The Beast did kidnap Belle. And no one fights like Gaston. McLeach the Poacher from The Rescuers Down Under, voiced by George C. Scott, is fantastic. John Silver from Treasure Planet. It's a lifelong obsession Jimbo, I'll get over it. John Smith or the natives in Pocahontas, playful face. Scar. So determined and such a weasel. Male Dr. Fossilier, the Horned King, and Radigan. Female Maleficent and Ursula. Hades from Hercules ha ha I love that guy, love the sarcasm. Ha na he's a man. Dr. Fossilier from Princess and the Frog. He's cool and I like his musical number. My heart says Hades. But I'll always have a soft spot for both Gaston and Scar. Claude Frollo. In terms of tangible, real world evil, it's hard to surpass him. The collector kinda he was bad now he's good but if that doesn't count Balos, it's a tie between Gaston and Ursula for me, mainly because of their songs. I think Sykes from Oliver Company is underrated, so I will go with him. Syndrome from The Incredibles. I grew up kinda feeling a bit bad for him. I think mine is the queen from Enchanted. I think her name is Marissa. Dr. Fossilier from The Princess and the Frog and Hades from Hercules. Terrified of her as a kid. Angelia was the perfect actress for her. Ursula and Hades love these guys very talented in what they do. Gaston. 
he should have stuck with those three primary colored blondes, Hades. Shadow Man from Princess the Frog was awesome though, too. Rachel Zegler. Edit you asked for my favorite, Evil Queen, in general, Hades. However, I love the Cruella movie.